Hey guys, I wanted to show you a few baby things. Um, they're pretty fun. So, um, we're not going to buy like a lot of baby stuff, um, like clothes and stuff until we know if it's a boy or a girl. Um, but we kind of couldn't help ourselves, um, just get a couple things. So, um, this first thing I got for Mike as a gift the day after we found out. He was still a little bit, you know, like shocked and it was still kind of sinking in for him. So I wanted to get him a little gift and I got him a card that was like for daddy to be. And then I got him this little onesie at Carter's. Or I keep calling them onesies. It's like a sleeper. I don't know. But, um, so it just has little dogs on it. And this is three months size. Um, and it says dad's best friend, which I thought was really cute. Um, and I figure a girl or a boy could wear this. I mean, I guess it's like more boy colors, but I put my girl in that. Sure, why not? Um, so he really liked it. I put it on his pillow. Um, when I, after I got it like that night, I put that and the card on his pillow so that he would find it when he came to bed and he was like, Oh, what's this? And he really liked it. So, um, that was cute. And then a couple days later, he came home and he brought this home as a surprise for me, which I thought was so sweet. So I talked about this in my, um, one of my other videos, but it's this little outfit so it's got a little ducky and it's got the open feet um, and this unsnaps and you can make it into a gown or it can be, you know, like a little, you know, thing with legs. <laughs> and um, this one has like the little, you know, fold over mitten cuffy things. And then a little bib that says, I love mommy, which is so cute. And then the hat's like my favorite part how cute this little hat is. It's like a little ducky hat. Oh my gosh, I love it. So that was a really cute surprise. Um, it, it was very sweet. And then um, I just today went and bought a couple things. Um, I had some time to kill between appointments and there was a baby's R.S. down the street from where I was. So I decided to go there and look at stuff and they had this deal that was buy one get one free for these things. So I couldn't pass up buy one get one free so it's this pack and I got zero to three months just because I wanted them and they're so tiny and it makes me happy so um it's this little pack of onesies I know the lighting's pretty bad but it's just light yellow and and white and it has a little ducky and then this one has little stars and moons on it and this one's just little duckies and then the fourth one says I'm too cute so I thought those were really cute, and then, um, so it was $12.99 for all four of those, and then I got the pants free. So I got two pairs of pants that go with them. So there's a little ducky with, like, the little, and then just some yellow ones. So, like, how cute is that? So I bought that today. I just, I couldn't help myself. I was in there, and, um, I just really wanted to buy something, so I did. And, um, I just, like, I cannot wait till I start showing because, seriously, there were all these pregnant ladies in there that had these, like, cute little pregnant bellies, and it was so cute, and I just want to have one already because I just am excited. So, um, that's, like, the clothing stuff that we have. Um, and then today when I got home, I had two little things in the mail. So, um, Tiana, T and Tim 707, I think. Um, she got her BFP too, um, like right around the same time I did. And so we are like, I'm not sure how far apart we are. A few days? A week? I don't know. Tiana, how far apart are we? I don't know. But she bought one of these for herself, I guess. And then she said that she wanted to get me one too. So, and I know it's backwards. I don't really care. But it's baby on board. It's one of those things that you stick on your car. So, um, I'm like so excited because I totally wanted one of these for our car. Um, and I think they're really cute. So thank you, Tiana. That was so exciting and very sweet of you. And then, um, my friend April sent me a little card and, um, I need to just show you this envelope. Like I won't show you, you know, our addresses or whatever, but she like put stickers all over it. Like how freaking cute is she? So April, you're adorable. And then... Uh, Lauren, you'll like this card. It's a little kitty. <laughs> so, 
so super cute so she wrote me a really sweet message and um, April you're adorable um, thank you so much for thinking of us and sending us that sweet note um, that was very sweet so I got goodies in the mail today that was exciting and um, so that's that's it for like baby stuff um, oh and then I guess I can tell you guys how we told everybody like parents and everybody so um, of all of our parents, my mom was the first one that I told. Um, she lives in Florida and I live in California, so I don't like get to see her, but I called her and told her and she was excited. So, um, I had kind of told her like that we were thinking about it and stuff. So she wasn't surprised or anything, but she was excited. So, um, I think she's a little bit bummed because she lives so far away. Um, but she was happy. And then we told uh, Mike's parents and his sister. We were going to wait until Mike's birthday, which is June 18th, but um, they called us up and they were like, hey, do you guys want to go out for dinner? Or actually, we were going to go over to their house for dinner. So we were like, you know, we should probably tell them because like we're not going to be able to keep it in. So we bought them a little card that said, congratulations, grandparents to be. Oh, I already told you guys this. Um, so I got them a card and made Liz the onesie. So we were going to go to their house for dinner and tell them at their house. But my mother-in-law did not want to um, cook, so we went out for dinner. So we're sitting at the restaurant, and I was, um, you know, we're all, like, sitting around to order, and I kind of look at Mike, and I'm like, should we tell him now? And, um, you know, we had, like, our menus up, and we were kind of talking behind our menus. And he was like, yeah, let's, let's do it. So we got out the card and the little packet. I had um, wrapped the onesie in, like, wrapping paper. And we were like, you know, we've got some little little things for you guys. So they opened them and they were like, oh my god! And they were really excited. And we spent the whole rest of the time talking about, like, baby stuff. Um, this is going to be the first grandchild for my parents and his parents. So it's pretty exciting. And um, I was really happy that they were so excited. And um, his mom even called me yesterday morning. And she was like, I just wanted to let you know how excited I am. And she, like, wants to take me shopping and pick out all this baby stuff. And she's just, like, so excited. Um, and she's turning one of the bedrooms of their house into, like, a little baby room. And um, she's just really excited. So that makes me really happy. And then I told my dad um, yesterday. And I was going to go visit my dad. But our schedules had just been really conflicting lately. And so I just called him. And told him and he was really really excited too so I'm happy that all of our parents are excited and happy and um, after we told Mike's parents which was on Monday Mike um, without talking to me about it <laughs> posted on his Facebook that we're pregnant so the whole world knows now which I'm fine with I mean I really am bad at keeping stuff like that in so I probably would have ended up telling people anyway but, um, so I don't really mind, but I, I couldn't believe he just, like, did it without talking to me. I was like, did you seriously just post that on Facebook? But yes, he did. <laughs> so, um, then after I talked to my dad the next morning, I posted on my Facebook, so, you know, it's official on there. Um, and I understand some people wanting to wait and keep it private, um, you know, for the first trimester. Um, but we just, we just can't keep our mouths shut. So, we're just too excited. So, um... Yeah, so that's like how everyone knows. Um, so we're really excited. Um, Mike is getting so excited. It's adorable. This morning he was like, hey, go to Target. I was on my computer and he's like, hey, go to Target.com. Let's look at cribs and changing tables. And I was like, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> so we're getting really excited. And um, oh, I made my first appointment. I talked to um, the doctor's office today, the OB's office. And I might change my appointments a little bit because my first one is, let me pull up my calendar. Uh, I guess first you go in and see their nurse and you get like a tour of the facility and you get your lab slip and um, they go over all the different like genetic testing and different kinds of testing with you and they, I guess, just go over stuff like that with you and answer any questions that you have. And so my appointment for that is on July 8th. Um, but then the doctor that I'm going to be seeing is going to be out of the office for like a week and a half. So I'm not going to get to see her until I think like July 18th or something. I don't have my, my phone's downstairs with my calendar on it, 
but it's like the end of July, so I'm going to be like 11 weeks when I see her, which seems a little bit late to me. I mean, I'm not concerned or anything, um, but 11 weeks seems late to me, so I don't know. Um, so I might try to change my appointments and go see the nurse earlier so that I can go see the OB earlier than 11 weeks because it just seems weird to not go and see the doctor until I'm like almost done with my first trimester. So, um, anyway, I'm getting text messages. I better get my phone. So just wanted to update you guys on that stuff and show you the baby stuff. So, um, again, thank you, April and Tiana. You guys are so sweet. And, um, yeah, that's it for my update. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.